Hey everyone, it's Tango Oscar Mike. I just wanted to give you an update on where I'm at with my Mesh-tastic uh, experimenting. I got a couple of extended antennas for my Liligo T-Echoes. Here you can see the original antenna on the left and the new antenna on the right. And um, it's definitely made a difference in the signal quality. So I've done some range tests lately and uh, the farthest I've gotten so far is two miles. And I did this, showed this graph here with the uh, website, heywhatsthat.com. And uh, it lets you show line of sight. And as you can see that the hills of PA are not real uh, friendly for line of sight. I do have this other location that I wanna try. Um, it comes out to about six miles. Um, so I want to try that, but I do need to get my other antenna up higher before I do that. And that's something I've been working on. I actually got another device. It's the Rack Wireless Starter Kit. And I'm working on building a node that I can put outside. I got this 4x4 little electrical box that's waterproof that I use a lot of times for building antennas as well. And I had a battery that I had for another project. It's a 2,500 milliamp battery, um, 3.7 volts. And the battery life with this rack device, which has no GPS and no screen, is phenomenal. Uh, it's like a whole week. Now, that's mostly sitting idle. So um, the more traffic you have on the network, the less battery life you'll get because you're, you're using the radio. I'm waiting for a connector for an external antenna um, so I can mount an external antenna on it because it, it comes with a very small internal antenna that you can see there. So I made a mistake before when I drove around looking for any other nodes in my area. And that was I had changed the primary channel, my primary mesh text, mesh tastic channel um, to something else. And the reason for that is only your GPS information is only shared or your telemetry information is only shared on the primary channel. So I ch created a new primary channel and I moved the default channel to the second position or a secondary channel. So I'd still be able to see any um, other devices that were on that default channel, but they would not be able to see my GPS location, that kind of stuff. Um, but what happens when you change the primary location, it also changes the LoRa radio channel. The LoRa radio channel is actually a frequency channel. Uh, in the U.S., the default is 20. Mine changed to something like 57. So I had to change it back to the 20, which is the default frequency. And now uh, I should be able to see any other users that are using the default channel, voice channel, uh, chat channel, and the default radio channel, the LoRa frequency channel. The comms channel on YouTube did a great video explaining this, um, and I'll put a link to it somewhere here. I actually was going to do a video, but he did such a great job on it, it wasn't worth it uh, for me to do one. But I did a little more driving around, and I have yet to find any other nodes. Now, that may mean that there are no nodes in my area, or they're not using the default channel, or maybe they just don't have the devices on but i live in a rural area i think i've said that before so it doesn't really surprise me that there are no other nodes in the area i'm still hoping to, that i can get other members in my club interested in this just to so we can play with it a little more and, and do some you know experimenting so that's still my goal now when it comes to ham radio i don't think mesh tastic will ever replace ham radio um, but it has given me a better understanding of line of sight so, you know we're so used to using repeaters that line of sight actually is very important uh, there's a simplex contest this weekend that i'll be participating in and it's line of sight if i can't reach that the person i'm not going to be able to, to get a hold of them now just like repeaters mesh tastic technology uses, uh, basically, it, each person with a device acts as a repeater. It's only text messaging. But if I send a message and uh, the site is out of my line of sight, but there's another location that's in my line of sight, um, they'll get the message and repeat it, and it will go to somebody else. And you could have you know a bunch of nodes in an area that has very poor coverage, but because each one of those is acting as a repeater, your message could make a bunch of hops and get to the 
intended target. So that's where I think, that's why I think this technology is kind of cool. I think about it for using it for volunteer applications where we're volunteering at events, where we have backup to radios. Um, maybe there's no repeater in the area and maybe simplex won't work for everybody. So maybe something like Meshtastic would be a good backup for that. Uh, or if you're just out exploring an area with friends that want to keep in touch with each other, maybe there's no cell phone service and maybe they're not all ham radio operators or uh, maybe they all don't have GMRS radios. I was recently having a conversation of somebody who's in the off-roading community and he said a lot of times when they go out, you know, some people have really nice GMS radios in their vehicles, but then other people in the group show up and they just have FRS radios. So everybody ends up on the FRS radio frequencies anyhow using low power. Um, so that's just something to think about. The other area I think mesh tastic could be beneficial is for emergency communications. You might not be able to talk your family and your neighbors into the investment it takes to get into ham radio, the studying for the test. Uh, the cost of the equipment, etc. But uh, a simple mesh tastic device, you know, can be had for, you know, thirty-seven dollars. I think is one of the cheapest ones. I think there's even some cheaper ones out there. And all you need to be able to do is, if you know how to send a text on your phone and you have the app, the mesh tastic application loaded, then you can communicate that way. So in those instances, I think it's actually better than ham radio because you can get more people, uh, I think, involved with simple devices to extend communications within your neighborhood or you know your community. Well, that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. This is Tango Oscar Mike saying 73. Take care.